Thank you, Mr. Uh, appreciate having the opportunity to serve with each of you on this uh, conference committee. Uh, I, I, I'm finishing my 16th year in Congress, and I've seen this story before. And my challenge to each of us is to fix the real problems, not fix the symptoms. And our likelihood is we're going to fix the symptoms, and we're going to spend a bunch of money. And I wanted to share with you a couple of statistics from the President's 15 budget, fiscal year 15 budget submission. Current estimate of unique patients at the VA is 6,616,000. 11,000 primary care doctors, 12,000 nurse practitioners and PAs. That figures out to 287 unique visitors per provider per year. Now think about that. Double it. Say it's 500. The average private care physician in this country sees five times that. So when I hear about we need more providers and more money, I just go nuts. Because what we need is exactly what you said, Representative Kaufman, we need leadership. And we need what the ranking member from the House said. We need the ability to control those that manage. And if you don't fix the real problems, you'll be back here again, and the commitment to our veterans will be wasted. And the most important thing is we will have wasted an opportunity to actually make a difference in their lives, which is our commitment to them. So I look forward to working. Uh, I, I'm involved. I issued a report today, and Mr. Chairman, I'd like for a copy of that report to be placed as part of the minutes. Without it, objection. It paints a dismal picture of the VA, and it's not just in health care. And if you take the time to read it, you will become incensed. And we have lots of great VA hospitals. We have, we're better in certain areas than anybody in the world. But we've heard the statement several times today, the VA care is good. Well, if you'll cook the books on appointments, you have no idea whether the VA good care is good. And so what we ought to, we don't know that it's bad, but we don't know that it's good because there's no true transparency in terms of quality outcomes in the VA. There's nothing to compare it to. So if you really want to fix the VA, you have to make it totally transparent. You have to give the management the capability to truly hold the people accountable. And if we'll do that, then we'll make a big difference for our veterans and we'll live up to the commitment that Abraham Lincoln promised them.